I think it would help us figure out if indeed whether or not the legislature wants to. I mean, this is a in an, this is a decision from an outgoing administration. I think you heard me say that earlier. But if indeed the legislature wanted to opine in a different way on the mitigation strategies, I would not discount legislation this year. That would enact, actually do this, as you just mentioned. Let me ask the threshold question, though, which you didn't mean. Can it be mitigated? So would you, I know you would take the time to look at their mitigation measures to improve it, but the issue is simply, can it be improved? Is this something that can be mitigated at all? Well, let, let me first say one one thing. Sure. There are, there are five people of an eight-person committee sitting sure. here, and I just promised you that we'll do it. Uh, <laughs> and, that's, that's the majority and, of the legislature. So and, I think that's even almost two so, thirds. So, so, <laughs> so I'll promise you that I'll do it, and I can promise you that Kathy will do it. But the other guys, we'll have to come. We'll have to. Well, I, let me put it to this. It does not have. I mean, we would appreciate any correspondence given what you've heard from the administration, their mitigation measures, and we would certainly take that correspondence and try to figure out a legislative solution to this in this session if indeed we can, if we're moving in the direction, if the decision is to do this, we would rather have the science folks really give us a, a much better way, if that's possible, to, to do with this. Well, let, let me just say that, that if nobody else will do it, I'll find some people and okay. we'll do it. Okay. And um, I, I believe that if you go out into the real world, and I think everybody in this room knows what the real world and in, in the valleys are about, that the mitigation strategies that are promised so articulately by Marianne uh, are not going to be adequate because this is without question one of the most toxic chemicals on earth and that um, we're dealing with something that a, a chairman of a department of chemistry would say, you're taking up methyl iodide, are you out of your mind? And so you got to keep in mind the, the, the who's looking at the problem. And um, <laughs> so uh, I'll leave it at that. I really want to emphasize that the mitigation issue is really uh, uh, very, very important, and it is fundamentally connected with the exposure assessment, with the exposure assessment, and that's risk assessment. Okay. Let me, before you do that, let me, yeah. let me get you on the, on, the, on the record if I could. It, number one, can this be mitigated? That's the very, I mean, before you would even venture to see if you would write something like that, and maybe from the panel, I mean, can it be mitigated? is the issue. And then I'd like to get all of your opinions as the, as Dr. Freund introduces you at some point, maybe your introductory sentence to, to the committee is the following, and that is, is the process that you heard from DPR a moment ago logical? In other words, here's what I heard from a layman's perspective. That scientific panel was supposed to tell us what the risk of this chemical was. My job is to now take your report and mitigate the risk. Do you, do you agree fundamentally that that is indeed what is occurring here, or there should be one more round of you looking at now their risk assessments and saying whether or not, I mean, is, is, this, is this more of a well, let circular me just say, deal? Let me just, or let me just, just say, it sure. it's, 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 it's her job to do the risk assessment. Okay. And given what we have found in our in terms of the lack of data, in terms of the data itself, uh, she's not ready. She's not ready to go to risk mitigation. She doesn't. She doesn't have the information on health and public health risks to go to risk mitigation. She's. She's got to. She's got to do some science. She's got to find out if neurodevelopmental effects exist, and of course they exist. Nobody in this room at this table would doubt that, that statement. And we could sh bring in a hundred more people who would say that. And so that 
the 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 notion of uh, that we're going to make everything healthy and happy with with mitigation. I've been through it at OSHA where you give com citations and then you want to see compliance afterwards and it and it never seems to happen. And so the the reality is, um, I'm not sure that mitigation is what is necessary in here and and please okay why don't we go ahead and introduce each other as we, as we speak i just wanted to respond dale haddis i i'm a, a risk assessor I, and i do risk assessment methodology so i'll talk to you a little bit later about the potential to do better risk assessment than is conventionally done but to your question about can it be mitigated the exposures can be reduced by technical measures. The issue is that the target levels that have been proposed in the uh, DPR's latest risk management statement of, about, of, you know, of eight pages were over 100-fold less than the target levels that were proposed by their own staff. So that's one of the things that has, has got... Greater. Greater. They're, yeah, they're, 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 le they're less protective. They're, they're higher... They, so that so that maybe you know they have a better chance of reaching those target levels, but the efficacy of reaching the originally proposed target levels that we reviewed uh, and more or less a, you know a, a approved of, although with some serious reservations, mm -hmm. uh, you know that's remain to be demonstrated, and one can be quite dubious about uh, reaching those levels on a regular basis. One can also be dubious about how, on the basis of our understanding of what the, was done with methyl bromide on, you know, on the, the efficacy of the um, mitigate, the effective, the, implement, the, the practical implementation of the, of the mitigation measures, but we'll talk about that uh, in greater detail later. Okay. What, 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 I'm sorry. Let me sorry. just add one comment on, on that. Ted Slotkin. Okay. Um, the, uh, Ms. Warmerdam's characterization that our numbers were uh, somehow not correct because we were using different labeling guidelines is completely incorrect. That had nothing to do with our determinations of what the safety levels would be. That has nothing to do with labeling. 